the network you are building. Over the past few weeks, the outcry for lawmakers to defund the Affordable Care Act has reached a fever pitch. And while these protests have gained steam, the reporting on the scandals that surrounded the administration only a few months ago seems to have waned. The IRS targeting of conservative organizations, the truth behind what happened in Benghazi, the wiretapping of the AP and other reporters like James Rosen of Fox News, all of that seems to have fallen off the radar. Jay Seculo is the chief counsel for the American Center for Law and Justice and has been following all of these developments closely and joins me now. Jay, great to see you. So a quick first question. Good to see you, Laurie. Do you think that these stories are sort of being tamped down these days? Well, I think there's, you know, an attempt in, in the mainstream media not to cover them. But you take the IRS scandal, for instance, and, I mean, the hits keep on coming. I've got a lawsuit involving 41 organizations. I cannot amend the complaint quick enough as the facts continue to develop. I mean, I've got, in, the, in just in the last 10 days, we've had the revelation about the FEC sending emails to Lois Lerner regarding taxpayer information, Lois Lerner responding. Lois Lerner sending government information from her government email account mm -hmm to her private email account. I mean, this has all just happened. Uh, in Benghazi, you had individuals coming forward that were testifying as to what was really happening. You had the State Department, according to these individuals, threatening them with uh, their families and them if they were to speak out on this, that there would be uh, consequences to pay. So, you know, that you also got the president who was having Jay Carney keep saying, oh, these are phony scandals. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. I've got a motion from the United States government in the IRS case, and Laurie in it, the government asked for an extension of time to respond to the lawsuit. That's not unusual. But what is unusual is they acknowledge in that motion that there's an ongoing criminal investigation by the FBI regarding the IRS. So, I mean, these aren't phony scandals. These are real scandals. And I think, look, I'm going to credit this to some of just the summer, and this is what starts happening in mm -hmm. August. But, uh, look, when Congress is back in session, you're going to see... I think you're going to see the IRS chief counsel hauled before the House uh, Oversight Committee. Well, we'll see. And, and if and when that happens, you're going to be our first call. So let, let's talk about Obamacare. Recently, the buzz around the Affordable yeah. Care Act has been that certain provisions are being delayed by the administration. This move has been called illegal by some GOP members, including Senator Rand Paul. What's your take? Well, I think, look, there's serious legal questions as to whether the president could suspend portions of, the, of his Affordable Care Act, which was signed into law in the Supreme Court, against my objection, said was constitutional. But uh, the fact is that the president is now picking and choosing what provisions he's going to enforce. He's mm -hmm. not going to enforce the employer mandate so the big businesses get off the hook, but uh, the individual mandate's being enforced. The courts have said the HHS mandate cannot be enforced. Most of the courts have said that when it comes to the health and human services requirement that these individual insurance plan include abortion and abortion related uh, drugs. You've got the, uh, the you, know, you know, the whole state exchanges, all of that. None of that's coming into pl play. They can't get them up in time. The reality is what Democratic Senator Ma Max Baucus said is correct. This is a train wreck he said about to happen. I say it's a train wreck that's happening right before our eyes. It just doesn't work. Yeah, and what I mean, the administration is going to try to do. You told our producer before the show, you said this is an absolute fiasco. And I think uh, there yeah, it is a fiasco. plenty of people I mean, who it, agree with look you there. At it. You know, there, I want, let me talk about yeah. defunding for just a second, because there is a current yeah. push by some members of the House who and the Senate who want to defund Obamacare, yep. and I know that your organization is, is on board with that. What progress have you yep. made in that effort? Well, what you just said, Laurie's right. I mean, the fact that we've got senators interested in it and members of the House, it's important. I think, though, you've got to also look at what did Harry Reid just say a few days ago. He said, look, we may end up with single payer at the end of the day because of this, the way this thing's going, which is exactly what the Obama administration wanted. They wanted a single payer system so that we're, all of us are on government insurance, which, uh, you know, I, I, I know that you probably share the same conviction I do. The idea that the IRS is going to be enforcing Obamacare is enough to run, you know, chills down anybody's I, spine. I don't get it. And I really I, don't. This whole, <laughs> Yeah. Well, it's hard. It is hard. I, I, you know, admittedly here, as someone that came out of the office of chief counsel uh, for the IRS a long time ago, it was my first job out of law school a long time ago. Uh, <laughs> the idea that the IRS is enforcing this in light of their ongoing problems. I mean, they're institutionally incapable right now of moving forward, of self-governance, of self-correcting for that matter. And we're going to give them taxpayer information now in guard, regarding health care and health plans and, and c medical conditions. I, I think the American people, you're about to see a revolt. I think it's about to happen here. And it, frankly, 
Uh, you know, it couldn't come soon enough. This Affordable Care Act is a fiasco. It's a disaster for the American people. And there was other ways to get people insured that would have been much simpler and much more economically uh, viable and feasible than this fiasco we've got of Obamacare. And we know that your organization is going to continue to investigate all of these things, no matter what the issue is, whether it's Obamacare or malpractice of the IRS and other federal agencies. Jay Sekulow, it's always nice to have you on The Blaze. Thanks very much.